The livestream, trailers and gameplay surrounding episode 3 and Warlords of New York has announced an absolute insane amount of content both progressing the narrative of the game as well as the gameplay. In this video I'm covering the narrative part, the story, the lore. We'll discover what Aaron Keener has been up to, where we'll get to play and what faction and characters are returning. Spoilers, there are a lot of them and it's amazing. A lot of returning characters, also a lot of new ones. It's been long since I've been this hyped about any game, any expansion, but as a lore guy, what do you expect? Let's just get into it. Ever since the virus hit, we've been hunting for a cure. We believe the scientist who can help us is being held on Coney Island. And by the looks of it, the Black Tusk have him heavily guarded. There's no time for caution, Agent. Get him out of there. Episode 3 will be the prologue to the Warlords of New York expansion, so I'm starting there with a quick recap. We're going to Coney Island to rescue Vitaly Chernenko, a virologist and immunologist who can help the division with developing and mass producing the broad spectrum antiviral against the green poison and many other viruses. However, Chernenko is enhanced and heavily defended by the Black Tusk in the Solar Amusement Park. The question remains how the Black Tusk got their hands on Chernenko, and that question is answered at the end of the story trailer. As we know, after the assault on the stronghold of the Last Man Battalion, Aaron Keener, a disavowed rogue agent, kidnapped Chernenko and exfiltrated using a helicopter. Together with a 3D fire sprinter and Gordon Amherst notes, Keener had a plan. What exactly the plan would be is yet unknown, but it would mean he would either create a new virus, or he would use it as leverage. Without explanation, we see Keener walking away from one of the BTSU members, most likely Barton Shaver, suggesting he made a deal or is working with the Black Tusk. And that's how the Black Tusk actually got their hands on Chernenko. We're finding out more as episode 3 drops, but the Warlord expansion gives us an idea what Keener's plans were. As it's a prologue, it directly ties into Warlords of New York. Somehow, you can't see that you're making the same mistakes that brought it all down in the first place. Your job, Agent, is to protect this delusion. And I have sworn to destroy it. You can try to stop me, hunt me down, kill me. So you're gonna have to ask 
ask yourself, is this a fight you think you can win? In Warlords of New York, we're traveling to Lower Manhattan, just under the playable area in Midtown Manhattan from the Division 1. It will introduce us to new areas including Wall Street, Two Bridges and Chinatown. The snow has melted away in the heat of summer and the hurricane that laid waste to Washington DC has done it tenfold to New York City. But we're not here to rebuild after the hurricane. We're here on a manhunt for Aaron Keener. Keener destroyed the division headquarters and eliminated dozens of top division agents and countless innocent civilians in a biological attack. It appears alongside Chernenko, Keener managed to create biological weapons in order to not only exact revenge but create chaos. This explains why he would offer him to the Black Tusk as he no longer needed him. Still, it's interesting to see how Keener and the Black Tusk will interact within this new alliance. After his attack on the headquarters, he took control of Lower Manhattan, although he didn't do this alone. He recruited four rogue division agents that all share his vision. Vivian Conley, Javier Kajika, James Dragoff and Theo Parnell. Each one has control over another part of town. Vivian Conley, a former counterterrorism agent and chemical engineer, has control over the two bridges sector. Javier Kajika, a Black Ops hitman and master of stealth and infiltration, can be located to the Battery Park sector. He knows we're coming and will use the terrain to his advantage. Both Conley and Kajika are working with the cleaners, who are returning and are deadlier than ever. Conley was recruited by them and used her knowledge as a chemical engineer to increase the cleaners lethality and tech. The cleaners new tech is mostly notable in their tank, although the cleaners will see the return of weak points, teamwork, flanking and different designs will make it harder than before to destroy them. Dragov, a former police officer and heavy weapons and defense specialist, took hold of the financial district. Theo Parnell, a drone engineer and skilled hacker, managed to stay off the grid somewhere in the civic center. These two lieutenants see the return of the Rikers, ex-inmates that have found new leadership in Keener. Rikers have a new design, where to now we can see their faces, and they have new and improved archetypes. Rushers will dual wield submachine guns, Tanks have flashers on their shields with nail guns in their free hands. And the Rikers that have survived since their escape, the so-called OG Rikers, are especially battle-hardened. But there's another faction that can't be forgotten. The Last Man Battalion, or LMB, sought new leadership after Lieutenant Charles Bliss was eliminated. As a private military contractor, they were looking for the highest bidder, which is the Black Tusk. As we know, the Black Tusk was behind the funding of the LMB, so it should come to no surprise that they are working together. They will introduce a new LMB rusher, creating a new role called Drone Specialist for the previous Black Tusk rusher, an LMB support using the Healing Hive and two new tank archetypes. So the Black Tusk and LMB are actually merging. The manhunt for Keener and the other factions will be introduced in a new campaign. We will have to find clues within each district investigate locations using echoes and capturing control points, complete eight side missions and end up with five main missions. One for each of the lieutenants and eventually for Keener himself. Yet there is one faction we haven't discussed yet. One of the big secrets and we're unsure of how they tie into the campaign are hunters. Collectibles like audio logs and echoes will inform us about these secrets and there are even surprises similar to the hunters, but they aren't hunters. It's unsure who they are, perhaps the rogue agents, for now we'll call them non-hunters, but this is really exciting, as hunters are secretive enough and now there's another secret faction. Still, we're not in this fight alone. Although after Keener's betrayal, the trust in the division is lower than ever, we're fighting together with the Peacekeepers, an alliance of civilians and JTF under leadership of Paul Rhodes. Together with Fei Lao and what looks to be Odessa Sawyer in the background, they will control the operations of taking back Lower Manhattan from the new base of operations and civilian settlement Haven. Agent, listen up. 
You and your squad are urgently needed in New York City. A biological attack hit Lower Manhattan. We need your help to hunt down the one responsible. Aaron Keener. Call sign Vanguard. He's the one behind the deadly attack on Division Headquarters that killed dozens of top Division agents and countless innocent civilians. And we suspect he's just getting started. Keep in mind, Keener knows this city inside and out. And he's as cunning and as lethal as they come. Originally, Keener was one of us. But eight months ago, the Division failed him by leaving him to die in the Dark Zone. That was the day he lost faith and went rogue. He disappeared and gathered all the tools he needed to engineer his own biological weapons. He doesn't just want revenge. He seeks chaos. He believes it is the only way for humanity to thrive. Keener isn't the only one with an axe to grind against the Division. There are others. Keener has recruited four rogue agents who not only share his extremist vision, they have the skills to execute it. They've worked their way up within factions ruling over Lower Manhattan. If we want to get to Keener, we'll need to go through them first. First up, Vivian Conley. Former counterterrorism intelligence agent and chemical engineer. Conley's last known location was the Two Bridges sector. A hurricane ravaged the coast a few months ago, so it's a far cry from the thriving urban sector it once was. Keener's second rogue agent is Javier Kajika, a master of stealth and infiltration. He was a black ops hitman for the US government. With the government collapse, his loyalty goes to whoever will feed his need for blood. Our latest intel locates Kajika somewhere in the Battery Park area, the part of the city that's taken over by Swamp. The terrain is rough and scattered with giant sinkholes that used to be subway tunnels. Odds are he knows you're coming for him and plans to use the dicey terrain to get the drop on you. Both Conley and Kajika work with the cleaners, a former New York City sanitation unit that believes only fire can stop the virus. Conley was recruited by the cleaners when she went rogue, and thanks to her technical expertise, they're deadlier than ever. We've been exchanging blows with them for a while, but their methods are ruthless, and their cleansing fire takes no prisoners. James Dragov, former police officer, a heavy weapons and defense specialist. His relentless fight for justice made him a legend on the force. Yet, his allegiance has changed. Dragov took hold of the financial district and has been using it as the center of his black market operation. Our intel suggests he's still there. Be careful, major flooding has transformed the entire district into a mudslide. Last but not least, Theo Parnell, a drone engineer and skilled hacker. He's managed to stay off the grid. So all we can say for sure is he's a true master of decoys and deception. Keener's arranged for the Rikers to protect him at an unknown location in the Civic Center area. Dragov and Parnell have both been linked to the Rikers, ex-cons from Rikers Island Prison. Regardless of who their enemies were in the past, they've agreed to band together. Their motto, power by numbers. And just like Keener, they thrive in chaos. Before you arrive at the base of operations with Agent Alani Kelso, I should warn you, a lot has changed in New York. The days when division agents were seen as knights in shining armor are long gone. The people around here are survivors. Ever since Keener and his rogue agents took over Lower Manhattan, there's been a distrust of division agents among civilians. Agent Fei Lau has been the acting commander of the division in New York City and is leading the hunt for Keener. Her methods are unconventional. But we're in a race against the clock, and Lau knows what it takes to get results quickly. 
you'll also find Paul Rhodes, now the leader of the civilian settlement. Because he's so tapped into the city, he may be able to help you track Keener and his rogue agents. Our mission is simple, find and eliminate Keener. But to expose our target, we'll need to take down his chain of rogue agents before they destroy us. Agents, the hunt for Keener is on. Although unrelated to the story, it was mentioned Rick Falassi still exists. I can't wait to return to New York City, discover all the lore surrounding Keener, his rogue agents, the cleaners, Rikers, LMB and Black Tusk, as well as the hunters and non-hunters. There's a lot of explaining to do, a lot of questions remain, but we'll have to discover it on March 3rd, 2020. If you like this video, please show it by liking it or disliking it, depending on what you thought. For similar content and definitely for more lore on The Division 2, be sure to subscribe as I will create high quality lore videos displaying everything using main events from the campaign, as well as hidden collectibles and secrets. Interested in discussing even more on the game? Make sure to join the Discord where we have a small but very engaged community. That's about it. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.